Hello everyone, welcome to Violet Adazze. Violet here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, what up? Today we are looking at Naomi Campbell's shady moments. We looked at Madonna's diva moments and we've looked at Mariah Carey's shady moments. And now I want to look at Naomi Campbell's shady moments because I know she has a lot. We're just going to jump into it. What do you think of Kim and Kanye's US Vogue cover? Oh shit. Given that you have been on the cover yourself countless times. I do not want to comment. Why? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Why that laugh? Why that laugh at the end? Why that laugh at the end? <laughs> It seems Naomi Campbell and Rihanna unfollowed each other on Instagram. Ooh. No social media pics or communication either. Is everything okay between the two of them? Oh, RuPaul! <laughs> Sorry, I just saw RuPaul. If I had to meet one celebrity in person, RuPaul is like top five. And I feel like I might fangirl. Everything's fine. Mm-mm. She said that like a wife that is pissed at her husband and the husband is like, is everything fine? Can I go with my friends? And she's like, yes, go with your friends. But she don't mean it. <laughs> Her eyes to say something different from her lips. I'm an actress now, Andy. Ooh! She said, I'm an actress now, Andy. You see, this is what I mean when I say shade. So who has a better ass in these two pictures? <laughs> I saw this one. In, of these two Neither. pictures. Oh! Uh, yes, bitch. I said it. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, gotta, you, you can't pick one? They look flat to me. They look Ooh. flat to you. Okay. Okay. We, that was wobbly. Uh, what did you think about Nikki and Cardi's uh, altercation at Fashion Week? Were you, you were at that party, right? No, it was called the Icon Party, but there were no icons there. Oh. Mic drop. Mic drop. I've seen that one too, and I was like, that one was blatant. She said, we, I wasn't invited because there was no icons there. Oh! Chance to date much. Um, I have a boyfriend right now. Oh my goodness. I'm <laughs> disappointed. Like, because uh, well, it's difficult. No, it's very difficult because I live in one it, place and he lives in another. Is he famous? No, he's not famous. Mm -hmm. No, it's much better not to have famous. Because this is the famous. first time you probably haven't dated a famous That guy. is not true. I make them famous. Oh! <laughs> Say it louder for the people in the back. Say it louder for the people in the back. She's like, I make them famous. I'm a famous making machine. Magic Johnson, I thought he was gonna maybe like come on to her or something. And I was gonna ask, like, I wonder how many guys have tried to get with Naomi Campbell. Peter the Meteor wants to know your views on Kendall Jenner being the highest paid model while saying she cherry picks her jobs and could never do 30 shows in a season. Next question. Ooh. Ooh. She was waiting for it. You know when someone's waiting to see a line and you're just like, continue on. Finish asking your question. I have I have the answer. I got the answer today, Sway. <laughs> she was waiting to say that. Each time she shades, the faces she makes are priceless. Like she knows. She knows she doesn't have to say anything else. She just lets you react. She's like. <laughs> There's a, a situation. Um, it was a Versace fashion show. Mm -hmm. Angelo called me. Um, and he said, Tyra, I need to talk to you. And right. I said, okay. And he had a really look, weird look on his face. And I said, um, what is it? He says, I have to cancel you from the fashion show. Right. And I was like... And you instantly thought that was because no, of me. No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. And I said, why? I just did my fitting. I did everything. The show's about to start in 20 minutes. And he gave me a look and kind of did like that toward you. And I was like... Okay. What? Do you have a no Johnny Versace? Do you have a no Johnny Versace? Ooh! It was the most awkward interview ever. <laughs> In that whole clip, Naomi Campbell is just throwing jabs. She's like, so you immediately thought it was about me. And then she's like, do you even know Visashi? Oh, she said, do you even know him? Do you know him? Do you have a relationship with him? No, Naomi Campbell is shady. Uh, <laughs> oh. You see when he was talking and then she like went like this? That means I'm getting ready to drop something, so finish up. <laughs> Naomi Campbell, I wonder, I just want to know, 
what her rate was. Like, in comparison to all the other models, I wonder if she actually charged more to get the Naomi Campbell to walk your show. How much would that cost? Like, I just want to know. The idea of this whole shoot, what we've done for you, to really convey a set sense of, of almost being a wet cat. Huh? No. Wait, what? A, a wet cat? No, I, I know what the girl means. Like, she, like, wants that, like, like wet, like, oh. But wet cat is not... <coughs> <laughs> that is not what you should have used as an example. A wet cat, like, if like, like, <laughs> why would you use that as an example? Either way. Diabolical. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I've seen that clip before too, and when she's laughing, you know that kind of laugh that you just can't stop it from happening. And you, the more you try to stop it, the more you start laughing. That's the worst, first of all, especially when you're not trying to laugh. But she said it was diabolical. Diabolical. Is that is the stuff you see when you're having sleep paralysis? You see it in the corner of your room that little demon. That was that walk. <laughs> that's the that's the demon walking towards you. <laughs> Diamond, and I'm not going to speak about that. Thank you very much. Damn. And I'm not here for that. Mm. Tell with them. With Charles Taylor. I had dinner with Nelson Mandela. Thank you very much. And did his men bring you a diamond? Uh, Is this you know, a reporter rough, so mad? Are you mad? <laughs> We're not answering these questions. I don't know how many different ways you can say I'm not answering that question and you keep going on. Like, are you just doing it for your own ego at that point? Because you're a reporter. You want to get information. So if she's saying she's not going to give you the information, why are you still asking? Like, it makes no sense. Auntie looked over to the side and she's like, I'm done here. Well, we've been told that you didn't help the prosecution sort of in this very important case. Thank you so much. Goodbye. She gave her one more look like, is this girl serious? <laughs> what? No, that was so extra. That was so extra, but I love it. It's like she's extra at certain moments, but then she's so chill, but like mentally extra, if that makes sense. I don't know how to put it. First of all, is that a fashion show? And can she call those shots? Like, is that her show? For her to be telling them to get the singer off the stage. And second of all, why is the singer stressing her out so much? That part is not even shady. That's just straight diva moment. Are you a bit nervous? No, well, I didn't really want to be here. So I was mm. made to be here. So obviously I'm just... Well, tell us how you really feel. With ...and get on with my life. This is a big inconvenience for me. Huh. And you said you didn't want to be here. Why did you not want to be because here? Because I really don't want anything to do with this. And I care about the protection of my family. And what is this as about? I said on television before, I didn't want to be, have anything to do with this. What is that about? Guys, if you know what that is about, let me know. It seems really serious. And the other reporter that was asking her about some jewelry and how she wasn't supporting something or I don't know. She was asking her a question that seemed like it was connected to a more serious issue. So are those connected in any way? If you know, let me know in the comments because she said she don't want to be here. This is a big inconvenience to her. She even like did a little bop on her head. That hairstyle is, you're trying to take life really seriously. Something really serious has happened. That's the only time you see that hairstyle. So check your lipstick before Ooh. you come and talk to me. She said check your lipstick. I used to wear that color lipstick all the time. I feel, I feel personally attacked. Because <laughs> you're wearing it. Okay. All right, girl. I remember once a little boy hit me in my stomach, threw stones at me. Oh. And I have to say, I fought back. You hit back. Yeah, because I wasn't going to run home like, oh, a little boy hit me. And what did you do? I hit back. That was my instinct. She's always been a fighter. That's what she's saying. She's been fighting all her life. <laughs> she's been fighting all her life. The modeling industry isn't changing it. That's what she's pretty much saying. So she's like, don't start none with be none. And there might still be some, <laughs> even if you don't start with none. She put me on the evening news because I forgot what I called her. Right? And do you remember? An ugly bitch with a face. An ugly bitch with a face. I hope she had a face, it's like, first of all. An ugly bitch with a, with a head of an alien. With the head of an alien? <laughs> a 
Oh, wait. She's not talking about Tyra Banks, right? The only reason I'm saying Tyra Banks because of her forehead. She has a huge ass forehead. And I'm not hating. I have a big ass forehead, so you can't really see it right now. But oh, let me put some braids or cornrows in my hair. You'll see it. Okay, wait a minute. Don't, 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 don't compare. Don't shorten your hair. They would never to me. They would never make you You are not on my level, Nicole. You never will be on my level. Do not compare yourself. I feel like at that moment when Nicole was comparing, I don't know who Nicole is, but when Nicole was comparing herself to Naomi Campbell, everything else that Nicole was saying went out of Naomi Campbell's head. If I was Nicole, I'll go home and cry because I just got told to not even try to put myself on the same level as Naomi Campbell. I'll just go home and cry and be like, wow, this is life now. <laughs> uh, poor Nicole. I don't know what Nicole did, but poor Nicole. Not, I was going to say was, so whatever yeah. I meet, you're very friendly and nice. Yeah. But at the same time... Ooh. There is a kind of intimidating thing. Like, I but that's on you. That's not on me. Mm. You think that is that not the truth? She's just letting you know that has nothing to do with her. That's none of her business. <laughs> that in five years, people will still be saying, she's a bitch. What kind of question is that? Like, uh, sure. Why not? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so. I'm going to be remembered for something. I will remember for being a bitch. But a hard-working bitch. And Ooh. a loyal bitch. <laughs> Hard-working bitch for sure. Barbara Walters have like the kind of questions she asks sometimes, and the tone she asks it in is disrespectful. <laughs> like she'll ask you some next level ignorant ass question, and she'll just ask it as if she's asking some like next level journalistic question. Like, mm. Naomi mm. <laughs> Campbell. In that last scene, it's like a mean girl. Like, you know that mean girl that you see them laughing from a distance and they're looking over at you, but you're not sure if they're laughing at you or they just happen to be looking over at you as they're laughing? Yeah! <laughs> oh, that just gave me flashbacks back to elementary school. Naomi Campbell is indeed shady as hell. Um, sometimes blatantly, sometimes very, very, very under the covers. Shady. Giving some shade, not the whole tree, just a little shade. I don't know what people are saying about this. People shame her for her personality, but... Um, praise Gordon Ramsay and Simon Cowell. Make it make sense. I kind of agree with that. I kind of don't like. I mean, I don't really praise Simon Cowell or Gordon Ramsay. Like, I won't say I praise them, but I find them entertaining. But I find her entertaining too. So the, I guess people is in general. Whatever. It was called an icon party, but there were no icons there. Iconic. Literally, she that was iconic. According to Naomi Campbell, that statement was probably more iconic than the icon party. Ooh. I actually met Naomi Campbell in the early 90s. I was a bartender at a famous bar that all celebrities hung out at. I can tell you firsthand that the way the media portrayed her is way off. Oh, wow. She was one of the few celebrities that never treated me as a person who was way beneath her. Not only did she tip me well, she always remembered my name and the other employees that interacted with her a lot at the bar. She was very kind to us and always treated us with respect. I can't say the same for other celebrities. I think because she was one of the few black models at the time, she had to be tough, yes? Anyway, that's my two cents. That's pretty cool. That's nice to hear an anecdotal story about how she is. And to be fair, I think that just because one's shady and a diva to the public doesn't mean that's how they are in person. I think, if anything, people that are seen as shady or a diva are probably being the most authentic selves and not trying to put on for the media and that's why they're saying whatever comes to their mind or whatever or not even whatever comes to their mind they're just saying how they actually feel that doesn't mean that how they actually feel all the time is just mean you know what i mean anyways guys that's the video if you liked it give it a thumbs up for that youtube algorithm i need that youtube algorithm on my side so help me out let me know in the comment section below like that one clip where everything seems serious and like she's in the i don't know where she is if you have any background on what was going on in that clip let me know and let me know your thoughts in general and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel what you doing subscribe we are the best channel on youtube Okay? <laughs> I'm gonna say it on my chest. We're the best channel on YouTube. I'm um, so joined. With that being said, I have a big shout out to give to the YouTube channel, Powell Lipka. He expresses himself in a form that combines art and philosophy. On his channel, you'll find artistic motivational videos, and you can check out his channel by clicking the link in my description box below. With that being said, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.